In this concept video, we will discuss the questions based on the concept we have learned earlier. I strongly recommend you to watch the previous concept videos on ratio if you have not. The link is in the description of this video. I would say watch all the videos of that playlist before this video. This concept video or question video is totally upon transfer within groups constant sum. What do you mean by transfer within groups? If we say we have two groups A and B and the total elements within group is N. N is the total element including A and B. If I transfer X element to B, so A becomes A minus X and B becomes B plus X. But the total remains the same N. Why so? Because the element transfer within the groups, no element went anywhere. If transfer within the groups A to X, B to Y or any values, the total elements remains the same. That's why we called it's a constant sum question. The total summation of the group is always the constant if we transfer within the groups. I hope this one is clear. In this concept video, we are going to discuss two main concepts and solve five questions. I am going to solve two questions. Question number one and question number four. You need to solve question number two, question number three and question number five. So you are going to solve three questions. I would say please take pen and paper before starting the question concept video. So let's start. So it's a first question which is for me. Question is if there are two sections of a class 10th in a school, section A says if some of the students of section B will join us, then ratio of the students of class A to that of class B becomes 4 is to 9. Means A says if some of the students of section B, if we say x x student, x student from B joins A, means the reduction of x and addition of x in A and B. This ratio becomes 4 upon 9. I hope the first line says this one. But if some of our classmate goes to section B, some of our classmate, some of students, here we can say we had A and B, this sum and this sum we do not know how many. How many transfer in the first case, how many transfers in the second case, we do not know. But here the transfer from A to B and this ratio becomes 3 upon 7. If it is known that according to government rule, one school can take maximum 200 students in one class, including all sections, then total number of students in class 10th would be how much? We know there is a transfer within groups. So the total number of students, including A and B, means class 10th, is nothing but the multiple of 13, say 13M, because it is the 4 and 9, so the total should be multiple of 13. In this case, the total number of students in class 10th is nothing but multiple of 10. So we want multiple of 13 as well as multiple of 10. It means we are looking for the LCM. We are looking for multiple of 130. We want multiple of 130 from both the ratios. And according to question, maximum should be 200. Multiple of 130, maximum 200 should only one value. That is nothing but 130. So the total number of students in class 10th is nothing but 130. Here the condition is, there are some student transfer, again some student transfer, we do not know how many students were transferred. So we take A plus X, B minus X, A minus Y, B plus Y and we will get a ratio and solve the question accordingly. If they are looking for the total number of students in class 10, so we do what? 4 plus 9 is 13, so the total number of students should be multiple of 13 and here's 3 plus 7 is 10, so total number of students should be 10. LCM of 13 and 10 is 130, so the total number of students in class 10 should be multiple of 130. And according to question, less than 200, but multiple of 130 is nothing but 130. So total number of students in class 10 is nothing but 130. I hope this one is clear, but the condition is sum and sum. We do not know how many. We just add the values and solve the question. I hope this one is clear to you. Now it's your turn. Now solve question number 2. Question number 2 is for you. I would suggest pause the video, read the question and solve the question. I hope you have solved the question. Question is almost the same with the data change. First it was 3 is to 4, second it was 1 is to 2 and looking for how many different values if looking for less than 100. 4 and 3 summation is 7, multiple of 7, 1 and multiple of 3. 
so we are looking for nothing but the multiple of 21 which is nothing but the lcm of 7 and 3 so we want multiple of 21 less than 100 which is nothing but 4 multiples how 21 into 1 till 21 into 4 they are the 4 multiples of 21 less than 100 so our answer is 4 pause the video read the question include your mind and solve the question this is a challenger I hope you have solved the question. At a first glance, answer seems 1. How? 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. LCM of 7 and 15 is 105. So we want multiple of 105 less than 200. Multiple of 105 less than 200 is only one value, 105 only. So this is only one possible value for the number of students in class 10. At a first glance, it seems like this. But answer of this question is, it is a not possible case why if we transfer some student from b to a we get 3 by 4 which is nothing but 0 0.75 if we transfer from a to b we get 7 by 8 that is nothing but 0 0.875 here we increase the numerator here we are decreasing the numerator if we increase the numerator the ratio or the fraction should be more than this case but here the value is 0.75 i am just taking x for a reference for this solving question we should take y and y i am taking just x for a reference because we do not know if both are the same or not so our answer for this question is not possible because even after increasing the numerator we are getting a lesser value than this condition lesser value means some value should be negative in the integral case there is no negative value possible in this case in number case there is no in negative value possible so answer of this question is not possible i hope this one is clear to you we need to cross check the ratio if you have option called not possible but i think no exam would ask question on not possible case this question is only created by me to check your concept and your learning i hope this one is clear otherwise answer should be one if the ratios would be as per condition i hope this one is clear now next question is question number four which is for me question number four is bit different case how if there are two sections of class 10th in a school section a says some of the students in of section b will take transfer and join us then ratio of the student of class a to that of class b becomes 7 is to 5 but if same number of our classmates take transfer to section b then ratio becomes 4 is to 7 then among option which can be a value of number of transfers how it's different here a says some of the student and in the next case a says same number of our classmates means transfer in both the case are same in the first case if the case is a plus x upon b minus x b to a is what 7 is to 5 in the next case it is a minus x upon b plus x is 4 is to 7 we know the summation is always same so we can say a plus b from here is 12 a plus b from here is 11 we just cross multiply the common relation so 11 11 and 12 12 so by this we can say a plus x is 77 and a minus x is 48 we are looking for number of transfers possible so in this case we want x so let's subtract the second equation from the first 2x becomes 29 so x becomes 29 by 2 from ratio we only get a value in the ratio so x would be multiple of 29 by 2 among the option which one is the multiple of 29 by 2 is 87 so our answer is 87 if the transfer is the same number of classmates and looking for any value we need to make equation cross multiply the summation and solve the value and get the new ratio and solve according to the new ratio i hope this one is clear if we have same number same transfer then we have to make equation now solve the last question it's your turn question number five this is same as question number four i would suggest pause the video and solve the question i hope you have solved the question the question is same with correct data there is no need to check the data first one is from transfer b to a a minus x b minus x is nothing but 11 by 9 in the second case 
a minus x b plus x is 3 is to 5 here the summation of numerator and denominator means total summation is nothing but 20 here the total summation is nothing but 8 either we can cross multiply 20 or 8 or we just equate to LCM for getting a value please always check we want a list number if we multiply 20 and 8 if we multiply 20 and 8 finding the least numbers and its multiple could create problem so we just equate with the LCM 20 and 8 the LCM is 40 so we want 40 here 8 we want 40 here how we can create 40 by multiplying 2 in all the values by multiplying 5 in the all the values now we want number of transfer means we want x so from here we can say a plus x is 22 in ratio terms and a minus x is 15 in the ratio terms and we want x so minus plus minus subtract 2x is nothing but 7 this becomes a is nothing but 7 by 2 I hope this one is clear so our x is multiple of 7 by 2 or multiple of 7 among the option which one is the multiple of 7 no one so our answer is none of these if we want anything of this sort multiplying by the 20 and 8 sometimes give a wrong impression about the variable in the ratio terms so we generally multiply a number to equate their LCM because LCM is the least value possible I hope this one is clear to you but still if you have any doubt I would suggest feel free to ping me either on this video thread or on Facebook thank you and happy learning